here at Big 550 KTRS. Uh, David Blaustein is uh, dressed up as his favorite New York Met, waiting for the gates to open for the Mets-Yankees game tonight. So Jason Nathanson filling in for him. Good morning, Jason. I think he drank a little too much Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that right there. Um, all right, so we're seeing all these commercials for the Whitey Bulger movie with Johnny Depp. Uh, yes. What do we think? If you like watching people get shot in the head, this is the movie for you because Perfect. that happens a lot. But they also get strangled, so there's a little bit of variety going on here. Uh, this is the Whitey Bulger movie. Johnny Depp plays the notorious Boston gangster at a period where he's already come to power, and this is the late 70s, early 80s, and he kind of teams up with the FBI to kind of get more power. Uh, and this is it, it's a it's a very good movie. This is a darker version of the gangster film that you're used to when it comes to say Goodfellas or Casino or even The Sopranos. We don't like anybody in this film. It's not the the world of crime and mobsters is not glamorized. Uh, you, these are bad guys. The film makes it very clear that these are bad guys that you don't want to hang out with. Uh, but Depp is solid, if not a little distracting with the makeup for me. I, I think it it. it took away from it because I think he looks like Depp made to look a little older so in every scene you're like okay there's Johnny Depp who looks a little older <laughs> not Johnny Depp who you know you get lost in the character because I don't know what Whitey Bulger looked like in that period anyway so he might look like him he might not but it, it, it's a little distracting there but it, it shouldn't be because he's solid Joel Edgerton as the FBI guy uh, John Connolly is also solid, very good uh, Boston accent from him. For the most part, most of the accents are good, except for Benedict Cumberbatch, surprisingly, who doesn't have a huge role, so it's not that distracting, but uh, some of the accents are all over the place. But I give it four out of five stars. It's a solid drama, one of the better dramas we've seen so far this year. Now, they're saying uh, Oscar buzz for Johnny Depp. Is that just marketing, or is that legit? It's possible. It it. I think that's really going to depend on what other movies come out and how many contenders there are in the field. Uh, as of right now, yeah, he's solid, but I don't think anybody... It's possible he could be nominated. I don't see there's any way he would win for it. Uh, <laughs> but again, it depends on who else comes out and who's better. Um, you know. But this didn't blow me away, but it's good. All right. We have other movies, but there's a note here that Mark Hamill was spotted on the Star Wars set. <laughs> What's going on there? This is uh, the set of Star Wars 8. So, you know, 7 is coming up in December. And there were rumors that Mark Hamill's character does not make it out alive of 7. Something happens, so we might not see him in 8. But apparently he was on the set of 8, so we will see him whether or not he is a ghost or the force or a you know, dream sequence what, or something a dream sequence or he's inhabits the new yoda i you know i don't know <laughs> let's just can we just get through the seventh movie first before we're talking about he's spotted on the set of eight i mean uh, no. i just want to see what happens no the, we can't new movie. when when is the star wars coming out uh, December, is it 25th? Oh, is it Christmas Day? So it's or getting, 19th? Something like that. We're getting close. Uh, also, getting close. Uh, Buffalo Buffalo Wild Wings dropped that comedian, huh? Yeah, Steve Ranazizi, which this this whole story is just a shame because if you're a fan of the league like I am, that's where you know Steve Ranazizi from. And he's the nice guy in the league. Uh, this is a show full of scumbags, uh, the characters at least, and he's the nice guy on the show. So uh, it's, it's a shame to see that he admitted earlier this week to lying about being in 9-11, being at the World Trade Center when it went down, and he barely escaped the second building when it was hit by a plane. Uh, so Buffalo Wild, in the face of that admission, he was in Buffalo Wild Wings commercials with, I think, Emmett Smith, and those are being pulled. You're not going to see those on Sunday. But yet FX is keeping the show going. Yeah, I mean, this is an ensemble show. There's It really focuses on six different characters. So to, to get rid of the show, especially in its last season, I, I think would be, you know, it's not his show. So I understand that. And Comedy Central, there's a he's supposed to have a stand-up special tomorrow night. Comedy Central was deciding whether or not to cancel that. I don't know if they hmm. have made a decision or if they're going to run that or not. Jason Nathanson was filling in for David Blaustein. Uh, quickly, we got time for one more movie. Which, which one do you want to talk about? Maze well, Runner or Captive? Uh, the Maze, Maze Runner is the one that I saw, so I guess we'll talk okay. about that. This is the continuation of the uh, one from last year, Maze Runner, which actually made a bunch of money. It was surprising. So this is Maze Runner 2, The Scorch Trials. I came out of the last one not confused 
confused. I just had a lot of questions. I don't understand what's going on and why they built this stupid maze in the first place <laughs> and why these teens are just running around all over the place. And in the, this film does not answer those questions, unfortunately. I think they're waiting for maybe the third, but already I've invested four hours in this stupid franchise and I want my time back. So the kids keep running around. In this movie, there's more running. There's zombie-like creatures now. I just don't care. All I give right. two and a half out of five stars. Ladies, ooh, the, boy, that's a much ooh. better star number than review. Jason Nathanson <laughs> with uh, ABC News. Jason, thanks for checking in. Thank you. 827, Big 550, K.